Hello everyone, welcome. Now this episode is about another new launch from AWS reInvent 2020 and that is ECR Public and ECR Public Gallery. Now what does ECR stands for? Elastic Container Registry. Now Elastic Container Registry is uh, the Amazon offering to store and manage your Docker images. Now so far ECR has only been supporting for private repositories. Now if you go to AWS Management Console and go to ECR or Elastic Container Registry and when you click get started so far you were able to create these private repositories where you need to authenticate to pull your images once you put it to the private repository. So the images that is there in the private repositories can only be pulled if you are authenticated with an AWS account. Now with this ECR public you can create public repositories by selecting this. Now this is a great announcement because uh, prior to this announcement either we had to use uh, a different content registry like docker hub to publish our public images or else we have to use some hacks like you know have a API proxy for your private repositories to allow users to pull images without authentication. Now with this release we can use CCR to publish both our private and public images without depending upon other content registries like docker hub. Now this brings us multiple benefits. Firstly AWS offers a generous free tier. Now if you go to their pricing page here they offer 50 GB free storage per month for public repositories and uh, when we are doing the data transfers it offers 500 GB for free even if you don't have an AWS account and if you have an AWS account uh, that limit goes up to 5 terabytes or uh, 5000 GB and also when you are pulling these uh, public images from other AWS compute resources like AWS Lambda, Fargate you get unlimited bandwidth for free when transferring data and also now that we can publish our docker images in AWS ECR we can communicate and integrate with other AWS services. For example, you can use CloudTrail to monitor your content images. Now imagine you create a public repository and push some public Docker images into that repository. So how can others find it? Well, that is where ECR Public Gallery comes into play. Now Amazon ECR Public Gallery is a website that anyone can access and search for public images. So you can search for images that was published by verified accounts or any other public images. Now in this case I have opened this Cassandra public image. You can see it was published by Bitnami. You can see the description. Now here in this section you can learn about this image and also how to use it. And if you like to use this image then you can simply click here and copy the public image URL and then do a docker pull. Now anyone can pull these public images without any authentication so they don't have to have a AWS account. However when you're pushing the images to ECR you can set permission to different IAM users whether or not they can uh, push images to the public repository. So in this episode let's get some hands-on experience with ECR public by dockerizing and react application and publishing it to an ECR public repository. So let's get started. All right, guys. So as the first step, let's go ahead and create a public ECR repository. So I select public and then provide a name for my repository. Let's call it n layer. And uh, can you see there's this uh, alias so or the namespace? This can be customized. Now I'll show you how to do that. And uh, once you have a customized uh, Elias, you can publish it with your customers. It's probably it would be helpful to identify your company name. And then you can add the repository logos. Now this information will be appeared in uh, the public gallery page, you know, the description, the logo and so on. So I'm not going to add anything. I just say YouTube demo, Linux operating system. Here you can add the usage description. Okay, and then I will uh, just create the repository and here we go. We have the new repository created. Now when you're creating a new repository, it is assigning this uh, default alias. So you can change that if you go to registry section and select your public repository and click edit. 
and here you can add your custom alias so this is the default one and you can request for a new one now in my case I have already requested it that's why it is like grayed out and you can save the changes so after that custom alias setup you can access your public repositories with public.ecr.aws slash in my case manojf slash nlayer all right guys so next let's go ahead and create our react application and dockerize it I'll create a new directory ecr public in my desktop and open it in visual studio code so I'll take an integrated terminal and then let's go ahead and create a react application using create react app my app okay so it's created I can see the files here I'll go to source and app.js and let me do some edits welcome to Enlia Academy so let's view it by doing yarn start before that I need to cd into my app folder and then do yarn start here we go so this is the application that we are going to dockerize and serve through nginx now nginx is a lightweight web server guys so we can use that to uh, serve static uh, files like let's say we build this uh, react application we get html css and javascript so those files can be served with nginx and we'll be including that in our docker file so that when anyone pull our docker images and then do docker run the website will be served with nginx so let's check that out first i need to stop my server and uh, let's create a docker file so i'm inside my my app folder I will just create a docker file touch docker file and here we go I got it created now here in the docker file I'll be defining the instruction on how to build this docker image now this is the multi-stage docker file so in the stage one it will build the react app and create static assets that means JavaScript CSS and HTML file and in the second stage we will serve the static file using nginx all right so let's first uh, add the docker instruction for stage one I will copy paste some instruction here so here we go we'll first use node 12 image as our base image and we'll call this stage as the build stage you know stage one as the build stage and then we'll set the work directory to app folder so all the uh, subsequent commands will be running inside this folder then we will copy all these files in the my app folder in my local machine into the app folder inside the container and then we will do yarn install so it will install the dependencies in the package JSON and then we'll do yarn build to build our react application so when you build a react application let me quickly show it uh, here so I will locally build it uh, yarn build rather you should see it is going to create a new folder called build so inside this build folder we have all the static files here we go and these are the static assets we will be going to serve through nginx so in our second step let me copy paste the docker instructions now first I will use this nginx image and I'm using the alpine version which is a lightweight version of nginx and then I will copy the static files from the previous stage and in the previous stage it is stored in a build folder so that's why I'm copying it from the build folder which is inside app slash build and then I will copy it to slash user slash share slash nginx slash html folder now this is the folder location that nginx is serving the static files from so let's build this docker image so we can do docker build dash t ecr public demo so this is my image name and i'll use the docker file from this context that is this context so it will find the docker file there and hit enter so it start executing all my steps in the docker file so here it's pulling the node image so it's executing the rest of my instruction so it copied the files from my local machine 
and also now it's running the yarn install and yarn build all right so the first stage is i think it is completed so let's wait uh, until it starts the second stage so here you go so it's using now the engine x alpine image and it has copied the static files from the build directory to this location and let's do docker images and i can see my newly built docker image right here so let's run this docker image locally first and after that we'll push it to ecr so let's run it docker run dash it with interactive terminal and let's do a port mapping to the host port 8080 and map it to the port 80 in the container and then we have to specify the uh, docker image i think we call it ecr public demo i believe let's hit enter okay so it is saying uh, the docker entry point is not defined of course uh, we need to define the docker entry point here but that's fine so let's see if our container is started up properly i can take another terminal and i will do docker ps and here we go we have our container running now i can go to localhost 8080 and view it so let's go to local 8080 hit enter and here we go now our website is served from the container perfect now that we have a docker image that can create uh, proper containers let's go ahead and push it to ecr public repository so how do we do that well first i can go to my repository here we go in layer and then i can view the push commands so i'll click here now firstly i need to authenticate to push these images because uh, this is not pulling the images the pulling the images can be done by anyone but uh, for pushing the images we need to authenticate and when i run this command it is using the aws credentials that i have configured in my local machine to authenticate with ecr so i'll hit enter and by the way first uh, you need to install aws cli locally and configure your iam credentials to run this command so i'll uh, post this link in the description so that will help you to install and update your CLI version for any operating system that you have. Okay, so the login is successful. That means uh, my IAM user have permission to ECR. Next, let's uh, go ahead and build the image. Actually, we have already built an image. But let's build it again uh, with a different image name. So in this case, it is called Enlier. So I'll, I will build it. I need to uh, go into my app folder first and I'll paste that again hit enter okay so the image is built and next I will copy the third command and that is to tag our image so let me copy this one clear the screen paste it in so we are tagging our Enlia image that we just created with the latest version or the latest tag really and this is our repository URL as you can see this there's a prefix public.ecr.aws then this is uh, the default alias and the image name and the same latest tag hit enter so it is properly tagged now we can push our image so let me copy the last command paste it so now it is pushing to our remote repository All right, so the pushing is complete. So let's exit this window and I will do a refresh here. And here we go. I can see the latest image tag that I just pushed. Now this is my image URL. So anyone can use this to pull this Docker image that we just pushed and then run our nice application right here. By the way, how can someone find this image? Yes, you are right they have to go to ECR public gallery and then search for the image in layer and you can see the image that we just pushed with the information that we have added I can click on to this one and here we go we have the image in layer and I can copy the public image URL and then do a docker pull on this and the information I have added is also here so this is a YouTube demo and the usage data and the image tag so currently we have the latest image tag so this is what i want to show you guys i hope this has been useful 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.